Does uh, Labour have a problem with anti-Semitism? Some MPs and activists within the party certainly think so and are now campaigning to toughen the rules on it as well as on Islamophobia and racism. Jeremy Newmark which, uh, runs the Jewish Labour movement. Everybody's talking about zero tolerance of anti-Semitism but it's become apparent because of a spate of incidents over the past couple of months that the rules and processes of the party don't provide adequate provision to deal with it. Those incidents include a councillor who was forced forced to apologise and resign this week after messages were sent from her social media account which were viewed as being anti-Semitic. Wes Streeting is one of the MPs involved who thinks lifetime bans should be considered. We've now got a problem where too many of our Jewish members and people out there in the country think that the Labour Party is apathetic to anti-Semitism and it isn't a place for Jewish members and I think we've got to make sure that this party with its historic commitments tackling all forms of prejudice including anti-semitism is still a place for jewish people well we've been told by the labor party that uh, they welcome the contributions of affiliates and members on this important debate rule changes can be submitted to uh, labor's annual conference where they are democratically agreed by delegates apparently well jonathan sasha dotti is from the campaign against anti-semitism and joins me on the line jonathan good morning Hello there. Do you think Labour has a problem with anti-Semitism? Certainly plenty of Jewish people and non-Jewish people around Britain are asking that as we see more and more stories in the press virtually every week now of a different member of the Labour Party, whether it's from Sir Gerald Kaufman MP at the top down to local councillor in Luton or other activists within the party uh, who have expressed anti-Semitic Jew hatred in one form or another. Why do you think they have this problem? Where does it come from? This problem isn't necessarily new. Uh, there's certainly been people on the fringes of the party who've had these sorts of opinions and expressed them whenever they could uh, in the past. In fact, during the run-up to his uh, election as the leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn himself had underwent some scrutiny for his historic connections to certain people who really distressed the Jewish community. I'm, of course, referring to when he called members of Hamas and Hezbollah friends and invited them into Parliament, uh, as well as other characters such as Raid Salah who perpetuated the blood libel that Jews use the blood of Christian children in their food. Uh, these vicious slurs against Jewish people have been subscribed to by some people who have been in connection with Mr Corbyn himself in the past. Now, he has since said, of course, that he is absolutely against anti-Semitism and racism, something which we have to welcome. But people are now asking from within his own party you heard their West Streeting MP and also Jeremy Newmark mm. uh, saying that they feel that the party's not doing enough. They need to change the rules so that the people who express anti-Semitism and Jew hatred now can actually be permanently excluded from the party. But as, as far as politics go, is this problem just limited to Labour? Of course it isn't. And as a charity, the campaign against anti-Semitism calls out any form of Jew hatred it sees anywhere in society and in, in any political party. But right now we're certainly witnessing a lot of reports of this going on within the Labour Party and it does seem that that party has a problem and that it needs to solve in order to reassure Jewish people but not just Jewish people because nobody in Britain really wants to see this form of anti-Semitic racism taking place. It's mm. not a British value and it's not something that will reassure many voters. But it's, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, no one in their right mind, I would, would suggest, would want anything to do with anti-Semitism or a any form of racial hatred at all. Uh, but as far as you... I mean, you mentioned the, the Labour leader's comments in the past that he, you know, uh, uh, said he, he, he abhors all these sort of things anyway. But people are entitled to, their vo to voice their opinions in the political debate about things such as Israel and Palestinian territory, aren't they? Is there a danger that we could... Um, over sanitise political debate around these areas because people are too frightened of being accused of being, in this case, anti Semitic? I don't think there's any danger of that. I mean, when you hear a Labour councillor in Luton saying that Hitler was the greatest man in history who she would have liked to meet, or that Iran should drop a nuclear bomb on Israel and wipe out another six million Jews now, uh, there's no danger of anybody thinking that that is some sort of legitimate debate on any kind of geopolitical topic right now. And similarly, when you hear Lord Nazir Ahmed years ago uh, blaming his conviction for dangerous driving, which resulted in the death of a man, uh, and on the influence of Jewish friends who owned the media. Uh, we know that these things aren't any 
part of normal civilised debate in this country and okay. I don't think anybody is under any illusion uh, that stopping those sorts of racists from speaking that way is going to have any effect on free debate about geopolitical affairs. All right, Jonathan, we must leave it. I'm very grateful for your time. Jonathan Sashadotti from the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism joining us on the line. On the various accusations which have been made in recent months, a Labour spokesman said the Labour Party takes all allegations of anti-Semitism, racism, bullying, intimidation and candidate misconduct very seriously. Baroness Jan Royal is currently leading an investigation into the conduct of individual young Labour Party members. Baroness Royal will consider all allegations and all relevant evidence. So let's move on ahead of the sport. Does your church social action...